Look at the way it falls apart, like... Wow! <laughs> wow, they just... Do they look blue? Here in South Korea, KFC stands for the traditional like fried chicken, while in America it stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, these are two completely different dishes, like they're no very comparable. Only someone as insane as me would dare to even put them together and compare them, but that is exactly what we're gonna be doing for today's video. We're gonna start by going to two different Korean fried chicken places. One of them is like fast food, I am so hungry, I'm also very excited because this is our very first stop and this is more like the fast food version of like this Korean fried chicken. I could be wrong and correct me in the comments but I feel like this might be more for tourists. Maybe not so traditional but probably still delicious. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna ask them what is the top order for Korean fried chicken and I'm gonna get exactly that. Let's go inside, place the order and I'll check in with you guys and hopefully we're going to have some fried chicken in a second. I am so hungry. Hungry. Let's go. Here we've got the fried chicken from Fusion Chicken Factory and like I said, this is more like a fast food, maybe like more for tourists, so don't take my word, like this is not the traditional one, I'm sure. We even got sauces and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I ordered. I didn't even tell you yet. Let me show you the chicken that I ordered. I basically said, what is the most popular fried chicken you've got? And they said it's the soya fried chicken. Is it like potatoes in the bottom? I don't know exactly what that is. I think there's a lot of spicy peppers in the bottom as well, but honestly, that looks beautiful. I'm just gonna go with my hands first. Let's try the chicken in first place. It's not too spicy, which is a good thing for me. My mind is blown right now. I mean... I don't know what else I can say, guys. This is insane. Like, this is some of the best chicken I've had in my whole life. The sauce makes it sticky, but then it's also super, super crispy on the outside, but then, and also super soft in the center, so it's kind of like mind-blowing, like it, the textures of it is really, really good. I'm officially moving here, guys. Like, this is so good. This is worth my plane ticket here alone. Wow. I thought it was gonna be just chicken, but it comes with all this stuff in the bottom. I'm not complaining, though. What is that? It tastes good, I just have no idea what it is. It's like doughy, I don't know if you can see that. But it might be cheese, or it might be like potato. It kind of reminds me of potato gnocchi, is that how you pronounce it? It's so squishy, like sticky, almost like candy. I've never eaten anything like that. I said it wasn't spicy, but actually, I feel like my lips are on fire right now. But what can I say? This is the fast food option. Knowing me, obviously, I was going to love this. The sticky sauce, the potatoes, these like gummy texture things that I still don't know what they are. Like all of this just makes its own dish that I, I honestly can't compare with anything else I've ever tried. I just genuinely love this. It's so good. Before we move on to the next food, I kind of want to get something to drink because I'm so thirsty, I'm like so sweaty. I feel like my clothes like stick into my body. So I thought we'd go to 7-Eleven. And I remember when I was in Japan, I don't think they had Slurpees at 7-Eleven like they do in America. But I wonder if they've got some Slurpees here. So maybe we should go inside and check if they've got any Slurpees. I don't think Slurpees are a thing here as well because all they've got is like a microwave to make ramen. But they've got an insane amount of drinks like canned and bottled drinks I actually want to try. Have a look at that. Like, there's so much stuff. Like, overwhelming amount. That literally looks like Red Bull <laughs> when you copy someone's homework. <laughs> What's Zillitol water? I don't want to try it because it sounds weird. Is this supposed to be like raccoon juice or raccoon water? Like, what even is that? This is so me when I say I'm going inside for one drink only and then I come out with like a million different things to try. I just love things that I've never seen before and trying things for like the first time. This is one of those drinks that's got little chunks of um, 
Aloe vera. This is a safe one because I know I love it. Oh my god. It kind of tastes like iced tea, so maybe this is like... Oh, maybe it's like green tea with aloe vera. This one is called Zillital Water. I kind of love it. I wasn't sure at first, but then it kind of tastes like Sprite. Um, more medicinal and without like being fizzy so it's just like a very flat sprite and the most iconic one the raccoon water i don't think this is a raccoon i can't really open this like i might have to ask a stranger to open it for me i would rather literally not drink it this is the worst smell i've ever smelled in my whole life <laughs> No offense, but no my cup of tea. It literally tastes like coffee and like alcohol. It tastes like an alcoholic drink. Oh, I think it's because it's made from like wheat. Isn't that what like wine is made from? Oh no, wine comes from grapes. Wow, that's a new law. <laughs> right now we are outside this place, which is called Two Two Fried Chicken. Even though it kind of looks like a fast food place as well from the outside, a little bit like the design of it. I looked it up, and this place actually has over 100 locations. So you can see how popular this is with Korean people. So I'm assuming this is a lot closer to like the Korean fried chicken that people who live here actually eat on like the daily basis a lot more than the place that we went to before I'm going to order both the chicken with the bones which is just the traditional Korean fried chicken but then they also do a well, they also do a boneless one and they have the seasoned one which is with like that sticky traditional like Korean sauce and the drier one. So we're gonna try both and see if they're good or not. If you don't know what kimchi is, it's basically fermented cabbage and I know it sounds like <laughs> it's not gonna be good but it's spicy, a little bit sweet as well. It's just like really really good. I love it. It doesn't smell great, not gonna lie. Kind of smells like Parts and then this right here. I think it might be some horseradish and then a little bit of salt and pepper to maybe like dip it This is the plain traditional Korean fried chicken. It's basically just battered like chicken and it smells So good and it comes with a side of like cabbage. I think this might be cabbage or like coleslaw I think they call this one the seasoned fried chicken and it's basically the same stuff But with this like sticky sweet sauce and then some seeds on top and this one smells even better if that's even Possible, like honestly shook. I'm gonna start with the kimchi. I'm so excited for this. Oh my God. Wow. It's a lot spicier than the kimchi from like a Korean restaurant in London, but mm. I think you're supposed to put it on a little plate, but like me being the trash that I am, I just went straight in. Mm. Oh my god, this is really spicy. Every white person in Korea ever. Am I supposed to put it on a plate and eat it and just use my hands? I don't know. So this is the plain Korean fried chicken. This is really, really good. I don't know if this is cabbage. Is coleslaw made from cabbage? How do you know? It tastes like a Big Mac. It's not problematic. <laughs> it was, it's really good though. Every, everything's incredible, guys. I mean, what can I tell you other than um, give me more chicken? <gasps> it's got a lot of meat on it. Oh my god. Mm. Can you zoom on that? Look at the way it falls apart. Like, it's such good chicken. Definitely up there with some of the best fried chicken I've ever had, like ever. Not just one specific country, just ever. It is really, really good stuff. But it, the skin is so crispy as well. This is how you know it's a good piece of chicken because I literally ate all the meat in it and it just came off the bone like so easy. Is it ten is tender a word you describe for chicken? Yes, because there's tender crisps. Oh my god. This one is gonna be my favorite, I already know. Like I don't need to like try it to you know. 
Oh my god. This is insane. In every sense of the word, this is something else. And I want to try it with some of that um, cabbage. Mm. I'm very dramatic in my food venues, like I'm very easily impressed as well. But this is something else. I want to try some of this with kimchi. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna put some kimchi on top. Uh, this is like the biggest bite ever. I mean, oh my god. What can I say? Look at all them chickens. They are delicious. I came to this little underground like shopping area. It's like there's so many shops. I feel like I'm lost here. Like I've walked for like 15 minutes and I have no idea where I came from even. I found this shop that has like contact lenses and they've got like so many. I've always wanted to buy like a pair of like weird like crazy bright color contact lenses. I feel like we should get some and put them on. This is random. Welcome to my channel. You can't really see it too well but there's like all these like crazy ones. Like these for example, they look insane i think i want to get these ones the star loves moon <laughs> because <laughs> first of all me there's also really interesting ones like the european eyes uh thank you i've already got those and it's not been great so far <laughs> would return them if i could i'm gonna buy the craziest one i can find and i'll show you guys in a second hopefully i can put them on here i found these really cool ones they practically got every color in them it's like this really cool effect but it was two for like the same price i ended up getting two Two crazy ones. Wait, I want to try the. Is it pink? <laughs> A colorblind person should never be shopping for these. I really am living my dreams here. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. Wow. <laughs> wow, they just. Did they look blue? Is it weird? I feel like it just looks blue. <laughs> I think I think I paid so much money for just plain blue contact lenses. Well, let me put the other one. Uh, I hate them. Did I put them the other way around? That was a terrible idea. Okay, I'm probably gonna get this off. I kind of hate them. <laughs> Maybe I'll try them a different day, but... Can you see the difference one eye from the other? No, it's all the same. That's so much better. And finally, this is our last stop. We're going to go for some American Kentucky Fried Chicken, the completely different version of KFC. I'm actually pretty shocked because I got here and I realized in South Korea, KFC is not exactly the same. And they actually sell the same chicken with a sticky sauce. I feel like maybe we should get it and try the KFC version of Korean Fried Chicken. This video is literally <laughs> destroy my brain cells and I don't have that many left so honestly this is like not ideal is this chicken or is it one of those like spongy things that I didn't know what it was someone let me know in the comment section what this is but I'm probably gonna google it when I get home here we are for the last KFC of the day the I wouldn't say the original KFC but then <laughs> that just sounds very stupid so the Kentucky Fried Chicken. So I ordered the, the classic one, which was the whole point of the video. And then I thought I ordered the one with the sticky sauce, but actually they gave me this instead. And this is like um, rice. It's like a rice cake, almost like rice dough. So this is the sticky rice dough and it's got this sauce. And I think the chicken that I wanted to order was basically just mixed with this, but I think they got it wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna eat that and the chicken separately. Mmm, I do like it. I think this might- <gasps> The chicken is in the bottom! <laughs> Wait, they did give me the chicken! This is literally true happiness. So we can compare it with the sticky sauce chicken from before. Mmm. I mean, it's so much chicken for one day. I kind of want to show you what the chicken looks like. Is it focusing? I do like it. It's obviously more fast foodish, so the sauce isn't as spicy. 
it isn't as like salty and it doesn't have like the same stickiness to it. I hate when they don't give me a bit with a lot of chicken because I'm not here for the bones. Mm. I actually haven't had this in so long. The main difference is this meat is like not as white as the one from before and it's like, it's more wet. It's almost got like juice in it, this one. It's very like filled up like the meat, but I do really like it. So there's nothing bad I could say about KFC ever. Mm. On the day that I say something bad about KFC, someone please come and check if I'm okay. I'm probably being kidnapped and there's someone behind the camera like trying to take over my channel, take over my life, I don't know. I don't really, I don't think we have timestamps but today I've eaten chicken for breakfast at like 11. I've eaten chicken again at 4 p.m. and now it's nearly 8 and we're having chicken again. What a day in Seoul. I honestly had so much fun. I've had so much chicken that I just want to go home and just lie in bed and just rethink my life choices. I love all fast foods and all foods the same, but I do have to say that I think the second chicken was the best one. If you ever come here to Seoul, that is the one that I would recommend you to try and it was really nice to have the kimchi and all the like little starters as well It was just like, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. It was more like a normal restaurant and not so much fast food Even though I love fast food. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun. Hope you guys had fun as well I honestly every day I spend here. I love this place more and more There's so many foods for me to try so many places and videos that I want to do so if you're excited about that Please don't forget to give the video a like it means a lot to me. It means that you want to watch more videos from Seoul. Don't forget to subscribe, get those notifications on. Thank you to everyone who's got my notifications on. You guys literally help me run this channel. I say this in every video and I mean it every single time. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye!